We're doing some man stuff today. Stay tuned. In today's episode, we are discussing how to prep a trailer for a build. The first thing you see me doing here, guys, is I'm wrapping my lights. Um, I'm going to be painting this trailer. So I'm, I'm also wrapping the, the license plate. And then I have a big row of uh, blue painter's tape. So I'm putting that around all of my reflective lights. And also, all throughout the trailers, you have little... little signs here and there like the 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 vin number and all of that so i don't want to get paint on any of that stuff so um this trailer here is brand new we bought it a couple months ago for this new build we actually um we've been ready for this build since the very beginning of the season but we've been waiting for a machine um you know all the stuff it's hard to get stuff here of course you guys already know that but the ar-45 was the last machine that just came in this past week so we're doing a new build because we're actually in the midst of training a new lead um we have a, a technician that's been with us for two years that is getting ready to run his own rig so that's what we are planning to build here a two-man system and then um the the importance behind doing this, guys, is very important because, you know, whenever you're dealing with chemicals, you know, that stuff's corrosive. It can get on wood, get on the metal, and uh, destroy it. You know, the, the first couple of trailers that I built um, when I first started my company, I mean, after, I want to say, two, three years, they were basically useless. I mean, the the I didn't do this step right here. The paint got all over the wood, and it, it can mess it up pretty badly. So the paint that you see me using here, I picked up a Lowe's. Um, I think the brand was Valspar. It's it's a sealant, a deck sealant, and paint together. I want to say I paid about $160 or $170 for the five-gallon five gallon bucket, and that will be good for about two, maybe three of these trailers. I would say about three of these. And we are doing three coats, uh, three rounds of paint here um, on this trailer. Uh, again, we want to put it on there very thick. It's very important to take care of your equipment. You know, something that, uh, that we do is we try to rinse the trailer once a day, rinse the chemical off. It doesn't always happen, but, you know, at least three times a week, I rinse the the the, the chemical off of the trailer itself. Now, we're not just doing that just to conserve the equipment, guys. We're also doing this, you know, in terms of image. You know, you, you want to get out there and you, you want to have a professional looking image. And, and I, I think that it looks a little bit better, a little bit better because, you know, it gives it that 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 custom look, you know. And uh, <clears throat> as far as the marketing side, um, the, the next step after this, and I'm going to record that as well, be a separate a separate episode, but. I'm going to show you how I put the, the signage behind my trailer and, and how we set that up. This is very important, guys, because it's the number one reason why uh, companies fail is, you know, they, they don't have a good marketing, um, you know, because the lifeblood of any business is that, that constant flow of customers. So, uh, but anyway, so, you know, um, from my personal experience, each coat that you put on there, you're buying yourself about three three extra years of life on that trailer. So, you know, by me doing this, I'm looking at 10 plus years of using this trailer out in the field. And, and that's what we want. You know, we want something that is going to be able to last. And this is very important, you know, um, because this is a huge investment, guys. You know, this trailer, um, the equipment that's coming, th that we're putting on here is a 10 gallon a minute um, a pressure washing machine, a 11 gallon a minute roof pump. Again, it's an AR45 roof pump. We have a 425 gallon buffer tank, and then there's two 55 gallon stand, stand up uh, sauce tanks or SH tanks that are going on there. And then the other thing I wanted to say about this uh, trailer build, guys, is this. Um, you know, with my channel, one of the things that I want to do is I want you guys to be the producer, right? I want you guys to decide what the content, the the 
direction of the content of this channel, right? So if you want to see a series where I buy a trailer and you see me go through the whole process of, you know, painting it and doing the marketing and, um, you know, setting up the hose reels and, and how we, we do the plumbing of our tanks. If you guys want to see that entire process from the very beginning to the very end, and when I say end, from buying the trailer all the way to using it out in the field, um, here's the thing. This is what I want to do. I want you to help me get this episode right here up to 100 likes. And then the second the second thing that I want you guys to do is leave at least 25 comments. So that's that's basically my condition, guys. If you guys help me to get this episode up to 100 likes and then also 25 comments in the comment section, I will do a series on building a trailer because I'll see that the, the demand for the content is there. So what you see me doing here now is round two, round one, I did in the morning, like at eight o'clock in the morning. And then the it's set, uh, I think here it's like six o'clock or five o'clock. It was at the end of my day. Um, and then the, the third round I do the following morning. But, uh, you know, again, I mean, this is this is something that's only going to cost you a couple hundred bucks in material. But again, guys, you're saving yourself an extra four, five, up to about nine, ten years extra on the life of your rig by doing it this way. And then also, you know, um, like we talked about earlier, you know, the the image aspect of it, you know, and, you know, this business, guys, um, is a very rewarding business, but it requires a lot of you, you know, and this is the type of stuff on the back end of the business that nobody really talks about. You know, uh, it takes a lot of um, th there's a lot of moving parts in order to to make this this business fluid, to make it, you know, profitable. And that's what I want. My goal for this channel has always been um, to help you guys run a profitable business. And what that looks like to me is I want you guys making a net profit a take-home pay of at least $5,000 a week. And that's something that can give you financial freedom, financial freedom for your family, and can, um, you know, be very positive for you and your family and those around you. So um, painting, I don't know if you guys ever done painting before, but I mean, it's really not that complicated. I'm not a master painter by any means. You know, it's just uh, the roller. I bought everything at Lowe's and then literally you just put it in that little pan there and then you roll it. And then, um, you know, you start from the from the beginning of the trailer, you work your way back and then you're going to do the same thing with round two and then round three and so forth. But, you know, guys, um, this, this business is a process of elimination, right? A constant learning um, process of learning. You know, that's why we say, um, you've heard me say this in every single one of my video, that it takes three things in order to make it in a pressure washing business. One, you got to have the skill. Of course, you acquire that in the field by years of being out there, right? And then the second thing is, you, you know, it takes um, chemical knowledge. Um, you know, we, we talked about that in great, great detail as well. In episode 10, you can go back into our archives and and watch episode 10, we talk about the eight essential chemicals of the pressure washing business. And then finally, um, you know, you got to have a student mentality. And, you know, that's where you, you guys have to learn as much as, as you, you, you've got to jam all of that information, you know, into a three, three to five years. And it's a lot. There's a lot of things that you have to learn. You have to learn marketing, have to learn sales, administration, um, how to get customers and the billing aspect of it. I mean, there is a lot of things to learn. So with the trailer, you know, you, you want to make sure you have, you know, superior equipment out there. It's going to give you a huge, massive advantage over your competition when you show up to a person's house. And, you know, I'm sure you guys heard the term before, chuck in a truck, right? So a chuck in a truck is not going to invest that much time, energy, and, and obviously money into building a rig system for himself, you know. So, you want you, when you show up, a big part of running a successful comp, a company is that image, right? And you want to cultivate um, a, a not just a positive image, but also a a very professional image. So that's what we're doing here, Mr. Bubbles. You know, it's all about that branding. 
you know, um, in order for you guys to maximize, maximize your sales ability, it's all going to be about that image image. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I really, really appreciate you guys coming to my channel and watching this, uh, how to prep a trailer video. I also highly recommend you guys watch, uh, my next episode in it. We are discussing, um, how to wash a house with chemicals. We got a really dirty one for you there. So anyway, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys over there.